Let's take a pit stop to check in on Lucid, the stock off to the races after announcing a one and a half billion dollar investment from Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. The investment comes as the EV maker beat second quarter expectations on revenue and vehicles delivered. Joining us now is Peter Rawlinson. He is the CEO as well as the CTO of Lucid. Peter, great to have you on the program. Let me oh, ask please. first about this uh, cash injection. I think the biggest question investors have is, you know, do you have the money to get through this difficult period um, and to profitability kind of on the other side? How far away is that profitability on the other side? What's the plan look like? Well, Matt, we ref you're referencing the $1.5 billion that we received from the public investment fund yesterday, which we announced. And this will secure our financial runway well through the Q4 of 2025. And this is significant for a number of reasons. First of all, it is a resounding endorsement in the public investment fund's faith in Lucid. I'd like to think they see us as the true technology leaders in this space, and that's a cornerstone of the relationship and also we are key to them realizing their vision 2030 uh, but also this funding sees us through not just the launch of our lucid gravity uh, but through the crucial ramp up period which sees us right through 2025 it makes a huge difference to us so we always talk about the $40,000 or so that Rivian loses on the sale of every one of its vehicles. I don't know how much you lose on the sale of each Lucid Air, but it's got to be a lot more because your burn rate is about the same and you sell far fewer vehicles. When will you start making money on the products that you sell? On the Lucid Air that we're looking at uh, in video right now, it's beautiful. Reviewers absolutely love the vehicle. They love your technology, but it's very costly. The gravity, I'm sure, will be the same uh, story. Yeah. When are you going to start making money on each of these vehicles that you yeah. sell? So there's a misleading narrative here, Matt, that all those costs are the cost of creating the car or the cost of our technology, and that's simply not true. The, so much of our finances are due to our long-term investments. We've just completed, or very nearly completed, a $3 million build-out of our state-of-the-art factory in Arizona. We've brought in logistics, we've brought in even stamping into a vertically integrated operation, and we've really expanded and brought under one roof the world's most advanced powertrain manufacturing capability. No one has a facility quite like this. And also then we're building out a factory in Saudi Arabia which will have a capacity for 150,000 units per annum. On top of that, we have the investment of bringing what I believe will be the world's best SUV, the Lucid Gravity, to fruition, uh, scheduled for start of production later this year. And then we're also building out our sales and service network and and investing in our mid-sized platform, which is going to be a landmark product for us, uh, scheduled for start of production late 26. So with all those investments for the long term, that's what's dominating our finance. And this is falsely read as it's costing too much. We've got the best technology in the world and it is cost effective technology. We can manufacture this. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake. Peter, uh, another question I have for you here is, is going back to what Matt was initially asked. Asking. Uh, on one hand here, your investments can obviously be seen at scale. Uh, there you have this $1.5 billion infusion. It's a significant amount of money. You said it'll last you through the end of next year to, to really make a lot of progress here. But how important is profitability to you? When is free cash flow going to be at more of a sustainable pace? Totally. Profitability is the end game for us. But when? And it's all about scale. We haven't guided precisely when, but it is all about scale. And we have four steps to get to true scale. One is to grow brand awareness so we sell more Lucid Airs. And we've just come off two record quarters of deliveries. Q1 was a record for us. Q2 was a record. And with that 70% up 
on our Q2 of 2023. We're outselling our core German competitors in the US very significantly. And this is not really fully appreciated. Then we've got our gravity, our lucid gravity coming late this year. That will have a total addressable market of six times our sedan. Then we have our mid-sized platform, potentially a total addressable market 30 times. And on top of that, the icing on the cake is if we can get some more licensing or supply deals with another automaker for our world-leading technology. It is all about scale. You know, speaking of gravity as well, you you mentioned later this year, but what do you think early demand will look like? And when exactly are you planning on opening up those reservations? I I can't wait because the the response I'm eliciting is that people just want to buy this thing. When people first saw the air, they thought it was an amazing technological product. But when they see gravity, they say, when can I buy it? And that's the difference. This is the product that all America is waiting for, is yearning for. I think the market's going to be huge. And there's nothing quite like it. It's got the driving dynamics. It'll blow off a, a Lamborghini Urus. It's got the poise and stature of a Range Rover. And it's got more legroom than even an Escalade. And it's a really compact car, usable in uh, Metropolis on the outside. So there's never been anything quite like this. Now, regarding when we first start taking orders, we will do so um, sometime between now and start of production. Watch this space. I don't want to go too early with this because I think some car companies have gone too early and they've done a disservice to their customers. We want to see a line of sight to deliveries from that point in time where we take the first three orders. But that's going to happen. Watch this space. Are you concerned about demand? I mean, obviously at the very top uh, and people are wealthy people are willing to um, to dip their toe in the EV market and, and and buy a luxury product but if you look at a lower price vehicle which is I'm sure um, in your future the infrastructure just isn't there and the demand doesn't seem to be there how do you work on that well I think we're going through a blip right now I think that demand is a function of people's experience with uh, EVs and there's been a lot of subpar EVs. People are experiencing the lucid air and more and more people are becoming aware of how awesome it is. Our sales are up 70%. We're not seeing a dip in demand and we're not seeing problems manufacturing. We can make them. It's all to do with the market. So when we go to a more affordable car, I think there's a huge latent demand there. And also when we talk about infrastructure, a lot of that is the draw on the grid. Because we've got the most advanced technology in the world, we just announced a landmark, a record-breaking five miles per kilowatt hour, the most energy efficient car in the world, the Lucid Air behind me, Lucid Air Pure can do five miles per kilowatt hour. That means there's less draw on the grid, less need for electricity. This is the advancement that we can make. You know, we are very close to a presidential election here in the United States. And of course, the Trump ticket has been somewhat critical of some of the changes being made in the United States when it comes to electric vehicles and the infrastructure around it. Do you think that any potential change in administration could mean a difference for your business? Well, look, I'm I'm politically agnostic here, but I've got relentless faith that common sense will prevail and the market will prevail, market forces. More and more people are realizing that a car like ours is an inherently superior experience to a gasoline counterpart. Whether you, 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 you invest in a car like this for its environmental credentials, which are profound, or for the driving pleasure, it's a superior experience. So unlike someone else, I'm not being distracted by politics. I'm relentlessly driving to create the best product for the customer. Peter Rollison of Lucid, we thank you very much, of course, on the heels of earnings and a $1.5 billion check here from a division of the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund.